My name is Jay Thursday, I'm from Queens, New York, raised in North Carolina. I DJ, I rap, and I produce, and I am the co-creator of a cool collective called Stash Pack. What's up, guys? Uh, I'm Manny, Manny Calderon. I go by Manny Mac. I, uh, I DJ and I produce. Stash Pack was created between me and my boy Coda. We were chilling in the crib one day, smoking. We were just kind of brainstorming and came up with the acronym, acronym Stay True and Stay Humble, which stands for Stash. Uh, it was actually his mom had said it to him before. And then, uh, you know, instead of being like the team or the crew, like everybody, we were thinking about some other things that we could be to symbolize a collective. How I came along is, is, uh, is pretty funny. Um, I originally was set to, uh, to come here uh, to New York for my very first time on vacation. So I had a friend that was uh, basically hooking me up to go to uh, GovBall. I think it was Sunday, the last day of the festival, the time that I just uh, happened to walk into the lounge, there was no music playing and I found it real, real weird. <laughs> um, started asking around. Situations like coming across Manny where he's at a gig of mine at, on a big stage, if you will, like something that's obviously very uh, reputable to do a, a festival. Uh, you know, he has the, the chutzpah, if you will, to jump up and DJ, even though he's not booked to. Played like a quick 45 minute uh, house set uh, in the DJ booth in the lounge. Uh, and towards the end of the set, uh, my boy Jay was walking up, starting to, starting to set up for his set. And uh, he, just happened to, he just happened to catch the vibe really was fucking with the sound that I was playing uh, and invited me out to his event later that night. And I, I basically got convinced to miss my flight 10 days later and stay here for the summer. And as they say, the rest is history. It just became like a nature for me to be like fast on my feet and point A to point B very quickly and just ready to make a, make a move. Jay, Jay, when he's working, he's at 120 miles an hour. Like I, I dead ass have to catch up to him every time because I'm up for 20 minutes and the man's already produced two songs. I think that translated well too into once I started DJing, just the constant notion of being out all the time, always being somewhere, always networking and talking to different people, seeing a friend you know here, seeing someone you didn't expect to see there and then they bring you to the next spot. That was also something that, that convinced me to, to move up here uh, in, to New York from Florida, just because I seen the difference of the hustle. I was running around with Stash Pack and with, with Jay and them and we were going in and out like just talking to people, getting left and right, just trying to get shows booked. Yeah, we're just a big collective of uh, of some young kids just wanting to, wanting to make our dreams come true. Realistically, Stash Pack is the first thing that's always in my head, like even before my own career, I just want the concept of Stash Pack to live on. In any circumstance, whether you have absolutely nothing or you have everything in the world, a reminder, a reminder to stay true to what you believe in and stay humble you know, during your time on this earth is only gonna serve you uh, uh, positive. So ultimately what I want for Stash Pack is for it to grow into a collective of uh, people who are in such wonderful positions that they can give life to that concept. I got, I got like decently high off that clip. Oh man, are we rolling? Yeah, it's gonna happen like that. Twist knobs, play sounds. We have a uh, two hour Netflix special coming in 2021 called Cocaine and Pancakes. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Very, uh, you know, yeah, you know. Love, man, brother love. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> love, love is the word. Hey man, I love this. I'm so high and everything's funny. Yeah.